Why Open Source Eco Villages? One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 365. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Dee Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our March 22nd, 2020 edition of our progress update. And today's topic is why open source eco villages? Why open source eco villages? Why bother putting all the time and energy into open sourcing eco villages? And the short answer is because eco villages already exist. Open sourcing them is a pathway to teaching others how to replicate eco villages and to create a sustainable planet for everybody within our lifetime. We know that if we can open source eco villages and demonstrate them as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. We can create a viral movement of sustainability that touches the lives of every single person on this planet. How do we do that? Well, we do it by reaching the tipping point. And we do it by getting enough participation, enough people engaged in this, creating enough open source tools, tutorials, and resources so that there's something there for everybody and creating everything that we're creating so that it's modular as well as the foundations and everything necessary to create teacher demonstration hubs. So we talk about solution models, right? So our teacher demonstration hubs, the communities, villages, and cities that we're open sourcing are designed to create additional teacher demonstration hubs. We call them solution models to create additional solution models. And so by doing this, by open sourcing these eco villages and making it modular, we want to create something for everybody. We want to create food infrastructure. We're creating housing infrastructure. We're creating energy infrastructure. We're also creating fulfilled living models. We're also creating highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and truer stewardship models that can be applied individually or collectively as the complete teacher demonstration hub. And so, and we're putting all this together to build it as a place that people can come and visit and experience. And walking around a one community, because everything is open source, everything that somebody sees will have all the documentation, all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions for replication as an individual component. So if you walk into the tropical atrium, or you walk into an aquapini or a wallapini, or you walk into a classroom, or you walk into the city center, everything that you see is open source and free shared so that it can be replicated. And it might just be like, well, why did one community choose these urinals? Or why did we choose these toilets? Or why did we choose these shower heads? Well, we've done you know hundreds of hours of research on these different topics to make our decisions. And we are sharing all of that research as well as our experience with all of those so that people can see it and go, oh, wow, you know, here's an organization that's doing this because they want to do the best for what's, what's best for everybody in the world. And this is what they choose. And here's their rationale. And if you disagree with us, at least you understand why we chose what we did. And so you can apply your own criteria using that information to make an even more informed decision. And we're open sourcing the open source process itself. So it's not just about why open source eco villages. It's like why open source open sourcing eco villages is the question that we're answering. Why open source the open source process? And the answer to that is so that it can self replicate even faster. So that other people taking what it is that we're creating can take that and do something entirely different and hopefully better. And they can share that back with the collective and the cooperative, and we can open source share that as well and keep evolving it. And so by open sourcing the process of how we're free sharing things, we're creating the design templates so that other people can walk in our footsteps and replicate our process of open sourcing and make it even easier for them to share their designs, their plans, and their way of building things as well. And we can promote those organizations also as they open source it. You know, we're about world change, so we want everybody that's on board with world change to be promoted and supported as well. Because to create a globally sustainable, a sustainable civilization, a global uh, sustainability model, it requires reaching that tipping point. It requires participation of as many people as possible. And so we talk about wanting to create something for everybody, and this is how we're doing it. And the eco-villages is just a piece of that.
but it'll be a piece that demonstrates a way of living that is more fun, it's more enriching, it's more enjoyable, it's definitely more affordable, it's definitely healthier than the way that almost everybody is living right now. And that's how it becomes self-replicating. And that's why we're open sourcing eco-villages. Because we want to see healthier, happier people contributing to a healthier, happier world and creating a sustainable planet that we will all benefit from within our lifetime. And, you know, we're an all-volunteer organization doing this. We've had over 400 volunteers contribute to this point. I'm a volunteer, and we're a nonprofit organization, a non-governmental organization. We're doing this because we want to see a world that works for everybody because that benefits us, that benefits our families, that benefits our friends, that benefits future generations, and our global family as well. And that includes all living creatures on this planet. What better way to invest our time and energy? And I want to live this way. I want to demonstrate what's possible because the more fun we're having, the more enjoyable and the more amazing the food is that we're eating, the cleaner the water is, the air, the environment, the more enriching the environment is, the more enjoyable, the more abundant what is it we're creating. And the more we share it, the faster it will spread. And the faster it spreads, the faster we can achieve that tipping point and reach global sustainability within our lifetime. This is possible if enough people want it. And the consciousness of the planet is moving that direction, and we're here to support that. And so thanks for checking out our project. Stick around and see the details, the bullet points of each of the different components of our project and how we're contributing to those as well uh, to create a better world and what's involved in that. And if you'd like to see the specifics, the details of everything that we've done every single week for seven years going back, you can visit our written blog and even before that, but we've been counting these uh, now for seven years. And so if you'd like to see that, visit our written blog. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on... Keep it on. Thanks for following the progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.